As competitive challenges remain in this space, 2012 is a year of breakups and makeups for Manny Pangilinan, the head of the country's largest infrastructure group, leading telecommunications firm, top power retailer, and biggest gold producer. It's a uh, anus horribilis. <laughs> he tells Rappler it's an anus horribilis, the Latin phrase for horrible year. Throughout the year, the tycoon tries to court the second largest TV network, GMA7. But GMA's boss plays hard to get. In October, acquisition talks fail. It's the third time the parties try to get into bed with each other. Clearly, this relationship is complicated. Recently, GMA chair Felipe Gozon says he's open to another offer. One of Pangilinan's managers jokes they should send roses. In the meantime, Pangilinan will be investing more in his current flame, the third biggest TV network, TV5, which he bought in 2009. The network has lost at least 8 billion pesos since then. Another place Pangilinan is not feeling the love is from government. It slapped a 1 billion peso fine on his mining firm Philex for a tailing spill after heavy rain. It's, 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 um, it's, it's severe, it's substantial as well. You know, act, nature acting on its own or on her own really, uh, we, we believe uh, caused a particular accident. Yeah, it's, 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 it's unfortunate. It's something we did not foresee. Nor this blow comes after the Aquino government issues a mining policy that spells uncertainty for Philex's future. At the same time, Pangilinan's Metro Pacific is also at a standstill on three major projects that require final government approval. The country's longest toll road, the Subic clark tarlac Expressway, the Metro Rail Transit Line 3 project, and the connector road between the North Luzon and South Luzon Expressways. The status of these projects? complicated. But that's not all. This year, the tycoon's relationship with his alma mater, Ateneo, turns rocky. In September, he parts with the university, citing differences over issues like mining and reproductive health. The next month, he cozies up to Ateneo's biggest rival, the University of the Philippines, with a 5 million peso donation. But barely two months after the breakup, Ateneo wins him back. Current status? in an open relationship. But it's not just business and basketball that's been a pain. There's also politics. Pangilinan was dragged into a word war in the Senate. Senator Antonio Trillanes claims Pangilinan fueled anti-Chinese sentiments with the country's foreign secretary to further his own business interests. Pangilinan calls the senator a liar. Fuming, he says he'd rather go back to Hong Kong, the home base of Metro Pacific. But Pangilinan is heavily invested in the Philippines, economically and emotionally, and it doesn't look like he will leave. Well, we're business people, right? So, as in most cases, people will look for the hospital places to invest in. Hopefully 2013 will be a new chapter. He says he learned one important lesson from the trials of 2012. Patience. Catherine Visconti, Rappler, Manila.